Hi, everybody. Uh, like he said, my name's Tyler. Because uh, statistically, one of us had to be, right? Uh, uh, you guys know the name Tyler. It's just the nicer version of Chad. That's what I'm thinking of. Uh, I had a weird medical year last year. I uh, broke three toes and had three root canals. Uh, which is only really worse because of, of my birthday, right? Because um, my birthday is on April the 20th. Uh, and if you don't know the significance of that, it's probably because you own a home, right? <laughs> but it sucks because whenever I have to show my ID to somebody, they respond one of two ways. They either look at my ID and be like, yep, you're old enough to be in this place. Go ahead. Or they look at it and think it's like a code if I'm asking if they're like, soup's chill and want to hang out later. <laughs> And like when I was at the hospital, I was, get, I was about to get my x-rays for my toes and this x-ray technician, you know, at each point of the hospital, they ask for your birthday to make sure it's the right file. And this x-ray technician was just like, so what's your birthday? And I was like, 42090. And he just goes, yes! <laughs> and I'm just like, no! It's like, I'd like someone else to look at my foot. <laughs> It's like, I don't want the guy that saw Superman looking through things, made it a career to be the guy telling me what's wrong with my foot. It's like, that's the only secondary holiday that gets treated that way, too. Like, no one's ever like, Arbor Day, buddy, I got some dank oak seeds for you if you want them, all right? Or no one's ever like, oh my god, Groundhog's Day? What? 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 Winter. It's dumb. I, I did start seeing a therapist last year. Uh, I started seeing a therapist. Um, and if you don't know, seeing a therapist is a really great way to remember old jokes you wrote. Uh, <laughs> but I always, don't, I always get along with my therapist. Um, she told me my, my biggest problem is my need for affirmation. And like, I don't know, clap if you think I have a problem needing affirmation really quick. Okay, I'm gonna keep seeing her, you guys are right. <laughs> I don't know if all these things are related, but uh, I was drinking a lot in 2018, uh, and 17, and 16, and 15, and uh, I don't know if you guys have ever done this. You ever woken up with a hangover that's so bad that you start to understand prohibition? Anybody ever do that? <laughs> you like wake up with a hangover, like, oh my god, they should ban this. I don't need to be responsible at all. But uh, I mostly drink during the week because I work at a Chicago public school. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of reasons, right? Uh, and what sucks about working with kids is they're just constantly trying to figure out how life works. And we've all figured out, life is kind of a bummer most of the time, right? Like a five-year-old said the realest thing I've ever heard said about life to me. Like she came up to me crying more than I have ever seen a person cry. It was like a sorority rush week times two, okay? <laughs> and I'll never forget the words that this kid said to me. She was just like, Mr. Tyler, no one's making me happy right now. <laughs> And how am I supposed to tell her, like, yeah, that's how it's always going to be. <laughs> I don't know, download Candy Crush, that's what I did. <laughs> uh, I'm no closer to having kids, uh, but my, my cousin just got engaged, which we're all really excited about. He got engaged while he's in college. Um, but what's weirder about that is he got engaged to his high school sweetheart, which I didn't know we were still doing in 2019. <laughs> It's like, you gotta get out there and try stuff, right? Like, you shouldn't be allowed to buy an engagement ring until you get HPV, right? It's like, how are you gonna know who's the one until a doctor's told you, yeah, it's just an ingrown hair, you're cool, right? And like, I think as a whole, we just do dating wrong, right? Like, I think we, as a, as like a, the, the apps suck, there's nothing good about them. I think what we need to start doing to lower the divorce rate is we need to start forcing couples, as soon as they feel like they're serious enough to start a real relationship, we should start forcing couples to move in with each other right at the top of relationships. And even just for like a short amount of time, like an internship in the love, right? So like what I wanna do is I wanna start my own business that exclusively does short-term leases for new couples. I'm just gonna call it like, is it real estate, right? And, uh, but then when you sign a lease with us, we put you through little challenges like the bachelor and bachelorette do to simulate a long-term relationship. So like week one, one of you has to become a vegetarian. Like that's just real. Uh, if you can cook two supper meals, I think you're really in love, right? Or like week two, we just leave a random thong in your apartment. Is it guys or girls? I don't know. Figure it out together. Get stronger as a couple, right? And then week three, we take your bathroom door away. Figure out each other's pooping schedule. It's important. 
And on the very last week, the most important week, um, we're going to have the ultimate test of love. And that's where we're just going to leave a baby in your apartment. you got to <laughs> see if the two of you want to make a baby live together. And, uh, and you might be thinking at this point in the joke, like, where am I going to get all these random infants I can put in apartments across the country? Well, I already told you I work at Chicago Public School, so I'm not <laughs> here. But I also want to start another side business where parents can rent out their children to new couples. And I, of course, am going to call this business Air Baby and B. And uh, I think I have a million dollar idea. Uh, my name's Tyler. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the show. <laughs>